oh my god like literally setting up this like filming thing has been i literally have like towels right now because the sun is coming in and it is like there was a glare and i was trying to like avoid the glare and whatever dude I, basically you guys i look like a homeless encampment in this car like there's towels and blankets and shit it's like a fucking fort anyways i hope everything's everybody's doing well um clearly the day is off to the fucking right start um it's lunch again per the years i'm eating the same shit i always do no surprises there in case you were wondering let me just um debunk the mystery there's nothing new it's grilled chicken and romaine lettuce and let us know today i'm in a shit mood because of this whole fucking like glare situation um and like the chicken that they normally have like it looks different so it's like more oily um usually it's like super dry and kind of like like i'm really anal about my food and yes I'm like one of those really weird creepy people that like dry chicken I don't like juicy chicken and this looks like not juicy it looks kind of like oily but beggars can't be choosers you guys like I'm not gonna go find another place because not every one of these lunch places like has like grilled chicken or they do like weird shit to it like they put like stuff that's like too smart for the normal person like they put like cranberries with chicken or something like that like you know what some people the fancy people like they can deal with that shit i can't i'm like dude what is wrong with salt and salt you know what i mean peppers okay they're you know what i mean like that all right they're gonna get invited to the party fine but like i don't need cranberries or little nuts and shit in the meat you know what i mean like, hi, let's not try to, like, overcomplicate it. It's not a fucking PhD. It's food. Salt and pepper. That's about it. Sorry. Maybe ketchup. Anyways, um, sorry. We're off to the races, you guys. Um, we'll see how this chicken is gonna go. Um, but... What a timely introduction to what I wanted to talk about today, which is that my eating disorder thing, anorexia, whatever you want to call it, calorie restriction, um, is being a fucking raging bitch. Um, and like yesterday, I'm so hungry. Um, like, I was talking to my mom after work, and I call her every day after work, like, I hope I don't start crying, but I don't really have any friends, like, you guys know that, and it's, like, I, it's not, like, a life issue for me like I don't get depressed over that stuff because the social life means that it just makes life difficult for me in my situation right now with food um so it's fine right but my mom and like my family are basically like the closest thing I have and I like hang out with them every weekend because I have no life and I'm not ashamed of it yes like I go home to my parents house every fucking weekend um and like my parents also had me when they were a lot older like in their 40s so you guys don't know how old I am but I told you a few videos ago that as I'm old as fuck and that makes them older as fuck times two, right? So, they're getting up there in age, you know? And they're, like, slower. Like, my dad can't hear everything I'm saying to him. 
you know, honestly, I'm, like, literally afraid of death that my dad is still driving, because he's, you know, literally, it's, like, oh, he acts like he's drunk, because, like, the reflexes are slower, you know, my mom walks a lot slower, and I forget that sometimes because you expect them to be like normal people. Like, like last weekend, I went to Home Depot because I like my freaking lights went out in the house. I was walking to go get to the light area, right? I turn around, my mom's like a hundred million years away because she's still walking, shuffling, you know. And I was so annoyed. I was like, "Dude, hurry up!" Because I wanted to get it done. But, like, she can't help it. She's, like, 80, you know? Not yet, but, like, you know. I mean, she's fucking kissing 80's ass. And I literally, I forget about that. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, like she was doing it on purpose. Like, I just got so annoyed at her. So, anyways, I'm saying all that to, so that you guys have context, right? And I go every weekend to my parents' house because, like, they need help with stuff. Like, they also don't speak English really well, and so, you know, they, like, oh my god, I'm literally getting into this, but, like, like, my dad has, you know, a plumbing leak, whatever, and, like, he needs us to call the plumber guy because plumber guy can't understand my dad or the other way this goes is that because they're older they get fucked up right like the gardener he hasn't come in a while my dad still pays him my dad's like doesn't want to get into a confrontation and I'm like what the fuck like he hasn't come like why you still pay him like pay me you know, they don't, I don't know, like, they just get taken advantage of. It's really sad, you guys. Like, literally, older people get fucked up. Like, they're just naive. You know what I mean? Like, they're from, like, another world. Like, you know, people actually, like, decent. So, they assume people are decent, and that's not how things are these days. Like, people are assholes. So... I, like, when I go home, there's a lot of stuff I do for them, you know? Call this guy, follow up on this, you know what I mean? Like, fix the house, go to Home Depot. Go to Costco. I kind of overdid it on the salt. It's really salty. Um... So, um, yeah, like, I have stuff to do. So it's not, like, just hanging out with them. It's, like, getting stuff done. But somebody has to help them, you know? My brother helps a lot, too. But he's in, like, he's in the city. And that's, like, at least an hour away. I live, obviously, like, 15, 20 minutes away. So a lot of it kind of hits me, you know? I'm, like, the older kid, too. So I'm, like, used to having additional responsibilities. So it's not like I mind. So, the latest drama is that my dad got this new stove top, and when they delivered it and installed it, it turns out, like, it was broken. So, it's been, like, months now that they need to replace it, and I keep calling these dudes to be like, yo, like, what is up, you know? And so... Like, the, we're down to finally them, ex, in, like, scheduling an appointment. It's down to, like, they just can't get sh their shit together. Like, this company, this appliance company, the fucking schedule a goddamn appointment and just replace the, the fucked up one they installed and then put the new one in. So I've been, like, dealing with that while I'm also at work, right? Because 
life rules around business hours, guys. And God forbid you have a job that's business hours and try to get shit done. You have to do it during work. So I've been kind of getting annoyed because I, I have to take time to make these fucking calls. This is how debt collectors feel, you guys. You know, you can't be, like, a full-on asshole, because you guys still, you, like, I still need the guy to deliver the fucking, like, stove. I just don't, you know, he's just not doing it. And, like, until he fucking gives me the stove, I have to be kind of, like, decent to him. So, I've been annoyed at, like, having to do this, right? And... The fuck is pain? Um, and like annoyed at the fact that they can't get their shit together because I really don't understand the problem. It's like fucking get the installer, just get it done, and I will stop bothering you like every day. Whatever. Um, and then yesterday I was giving my mom an update, right? And I'm like totally exhausted from work, and I was just like in a bad mood, and then it doesn't help that like this eating disorder, like, tends to be naughty, you know what I mean? Like, you, you just have a bad attitude a lot of time. Huh? Your brain's just kind of fucked up, it's not getting all of the nutrition, yeah. whatever. I mean, I'm not the worst right now, because I'm, I've been really bad. Like, I'm still, like, here. I'm decent, for the most part, but I get irritated really fast. You know? So, blah. I'm already annoyed. And when I was talking to my mom yesterday, like, I just all, I like, came out. And I just started yelling at her. Like, I was telling her, I'm a fucking servant and I'm a personal assistant that I doesn't get paid. You pay the fucking gardener that doesn't do shit. And every weekend, I have to come home and help you guys with all this stuff. And you guys are ungrateful. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, going off on her. And oh, my mom is the nicest, guy, like, person, you guys. Like, she's been through some shit. You, like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get emotional, but... My mom, like, has been through a lot of shit, and she just loves my brother and I, like, crazy. She'll do anything for us, you know, and she's just getting older, and it's, like, really hard to, like, watch her, you know, degradate. Oh, my God, I'm such a fucking mess. I'm sorry. This is life, you know, you guys? Like, this is, this is real shit. Um, you know, and, like, in the back of my mind, I'm always, like, how many more, like, years, you know, that I'm gonna have with her? I'm sorry, this is, like, probably going off the fucking rails right now. Um, but whatever, right? Like, she's older, and she's really awesome, and she's fucking put up with so much in her life, you know, to give birth to us, and, like, come to the U.S. and all this other stuff. She doesn't understand English and, like, she f is just so kind to everyone, you know? Like, people fuck with her and, like, she's just still so nice to everyone. She doesn't have a mean bone in her body. Um, and I'm, like, fucking on the phone screaming at her, you know? And I could tell she was starting to be, like, emotional about it, you know? Like, sad that I'm so upset guilty for asking me to do these things and literally you guys like it's not that big of a deal like she's my mother like I'd fucking die for her you know but like I literally was like I could feel my eating disorder brain just start to just lash out you know uh, and then I was just like clawing at her and it was just so unfair and I just like went went off like screaming and I hung up on her you know and then, like, it was about, I don't know, 7 o'clock. And then, like, I felt better. 
you know what I mean? Like, she went away. The situation went away. I got to fucking scream, you know? And then I went home and I ate dinner until that made me feel better because, you know, feed the beast. Feed the eating disorder when she wants to be fed and then don't eat ever all the other times. So, and then I was happy because... And then I was happy because I didn't eat everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, so then I was eating as many calories as I normally would have. I don't know, whatever. Like, you guys, eating disorders, not cute. They're crazy. They make you fucking nuts. Um, so whatever, right? So I felt better is basically what I'm trying to say after dinner. I was just watching TV, and then, like, I don't know what happened. Like, I got so emotional because I remembered what I was I did to my mother you know and like it was like 11 o'clock at night and I just like I called her and I was just so I just oh my god I was a mess I was like oh my god like how could you do that like you have no friends and this is why you have no friends like, how could you treat your mom like that? Like, she's never done anything bad for you. Like, she's ad- she's always been there for me, you know what I mean? Like, through everything, and I'm a bitch. Like, I I was a fucking rageaholic bitch in my, like, heyday. I still am, but, like, there was, there's a whole other level. If you're deep in your disorder, and if you've ever, like, been deep in it, like, you know what I'm fucking talking about. There's a whole other fucking level of evil. It's like what drug addicts, right? Like when you have a draw, like how they, they probably like lash out because they're so, uh, you know, crazy. So I called her and I was like a mess. I was telling her I was sorry. And she's, like, in her broken English, just like, babe, like, I lo- like, don't worry about it, you know? I, Mom, she just said, oh, my God, in, Ch- in her broken English, like, mama, okay, is nothing to mama, you know? I'm sorry, like, I told you I was afraid it was going to get like this. Um... Anyway, she's so awesome, and she told me to, you know, like, don't cry, like, basically her intent was, like, I already forgot about it, like, it never happened, I love you, you know, I mean, Asian people don't say that, or, I don't know, the way it was brought up, like, you don't say I love you, but I know what she was getting at, you know, and, like, anyways, like, I felt better, but, like, This is, I'm telling you, like, something is going to happen, you guys. I've got to, like, start dealing with this eating stuff. Like, I can't go on like that, you know what I mean? Like, it happens, it's happening more frequently, and I'm dropping weight. It's not, we're, like, not lowest, but, like, we're, like I said, like, we're getting there. And I'm, like, take some fucking weird, sick pleasure out of the fact that I'm eating less and less every day. You know how this is. I'm sure I'm talking to a very, very well-educated audience. If you're not educated now, you know, man, welcome behind the music. Like, this is what it's really like. 